I know you know about this one because as soon as I say the first two words, you're going to go, I know where this is going. So this morning for breakfast, did you enjoy any cinnamon toast shrimp? What? You didn't hear about this cinnamon toast shrimp? Listen, how I enjoy my shrimp in the morning <laughs> is in nobody's business. What in the absolute fuck? Okay. Uh, okay. You go ahead. You read your little story. I'll give you my advice. Well, I don't, I don't have very much of a story. I just have a few There's few not. There's not much about this story. Go ahead. So a man named Jensen Carp tweeted out a photo of his cinnamon toast crunch containing shrimp tails that have that cinnamon toast coating and uh, tweeted it out, said, what the hell? Cinnamon toast crunch replied, said, we investigated the photo. It looks like it's just the, uh, the cinnamon clusters look like shrimp tails. And he said, that's not true. I investigated it and I found more shrimp tails within it. And there, it looks like my box was tampered with and uh, cinnamon toast crunch tweeted back, that's not possible. And if it was, it didn't happen at our facility. And he said, you're gaslighting me. You're calling me a liar. This is ridiculous. That's pretty much the end of the story. Wow. Was it, what was proven facts on that? There were no facts proven, interestingly enough. Nothing at all. I mean, the facts are that man tweeted out a photo that looked like shrimp tails and uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. The fact is they claim it couldn't have happened at their facility. Could you not just take that somewhere and get it tested? Hey, is there shrimp in this? Well, uh, I believe Cinnamon Toast Crunch have requested he send the box to them so they could investigate and he has refused. Yes, because his lawyer probably said so. Uh, I'm not sure. So what's your take on this? Do you believe the guy is no, cinnamon toast? No. You don't believe him. Dude, like what? How the fuck? Like if the guy's like, yo, I found a cinnamon toast fingernail. I'm in. Finger, you know, something like that. A fucking shrimp, dude. Like you're not even close. Like what about cinnamon toast bread? I'd be like, you know what? That's a great idea. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. will fucking take that. No, but like there's nothing, nothing at all. You don't believe them. Okay, well. No, not a chance. Like, we are in, like, maybe in the 90s. Dude, nothing gets touched anymore. Like, it yeah. basically comes down a fucking conveyor belt, and it just shoots out a product, like, into a bag. It's pre-weighed. It's pre-everything, and it just goes. Like, yeah. there, there's no human element to it. Like, that's why we're getting lucky during this this COVID, because nobody's breathing into your fucking bag. Like, Ab that's absolutely. Awkward, but, like, so, like, <laughs> Wow, you took that a different way. So I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you my take on this. As soon as I heard who tweeted it out, I knew it was a lie because I know the name Jensen Carp. Are you familiar with this name? No, I do not. Please I'm, inform me. I'm not surprised because Jensen Carp is a writer for the WWE. He worked for them in 2006. He's also a uh, viral marketing sensation. He owns a gallery in California called Gallery 1988, where you can buy, uh, you can buy, how do I say it? Like uh, nostalgic paintings. And uh, he said that he, he invented it because guys would have like these, these super expensive living rooms and then they'd have a, a $5 poster on their wall. He wanted something a little bit more upscale for people uh, our age to have. So there's a lot of 80s and a lot of specific novelty items. Anyway, this guy is, uh, he likes to fuck with people. Uh, he's also known as Hot Carl because he won a rap contest early on and they asked him what his name and he said, Hot Carl, which is when you shit on someone's chest. Uh, as soon as I heard that Jensen Carp was the guy doing this, I was oh, that's bullshit. This guy's fucking with the internet. This guy's an internet troll. So he is, he creates viral sensations. Yeah. So you're breaking it down right now. Okay. You're yeah. telling me live on this show, you're breaking news. Breaking this news. guy is full of shit. This guy is full of shit. I promise you. So, so you guarantee, you guarantee, there's that word again. You're guaranteeing this is all false. Well, I haven't been to his house to investigate, but much like you believe, I don't believe a word this guy's saying. And you don't know who this guy is. I have heard of this guy. I've heard him on podcasts. I heard him on a podcast called Formerly Creative. It was the first time that I heard him where uh, former WWE writers uh, talk about what they're up to. And you can tell this guy likes to fuck around. And uh, this is his way of fucking around. So he's in for fuckery. Yeah, exactly. So that's it. So he, and then you, but you knew his name. Yes. 
because you're you're more into that that like that end of the, the entertainment business, the sports business. How do you how do you mean? Like you're more of a wrestling fan. Like that name oh, would, yeah, yeah, would, yeah. would like yeah. be with you, right? Like exactly. right. You might hear I might hear a beat a beat writer in Canada and go, Oh, I know that guy. And you're like, I don't who gives a fuck about that guy. But I'll like be honest, so I'll be right away. I'll be honest, ninety percent of even the hardcore internet fans probably don't know who that name was. I just recognized it because I was like, Oh, that's hot Carl. <laughs> you just know this hard car. Guys are funny. You guys are on the Christmas card. Just because I pay I I don't know. When I hear something about wrestling, it just sticks in my brain. I have a disability, I think. No, you have a re- no, yeah, you know what? You have a disability, buddy. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. You have a disability. No, man, like, I don't know. If you already know this guy and he's already committing bullshit like this, like and to me it didn't sound right. And then to it, the people of it's right up his alley. Like he does. Gallery 1988. It has all these vintage 80s ideas, and he's combined cinnamon toast crunch, which is probably something that he has in his gallery with shrimp. What an outrage! Like it's it's a little gross out, and a little bit of retro, and a little bit of your childhood all mixed into one. It just sounds like something he would have made up. If you're gonna make something up, make it believable. Mm-hmm. Like unless they unless they sell shrimp as well, not shrimp. Like. What was Buddy eating a fucking lob, a, a shrimp, and was just throwing the carcasses into the into the the cinnamon toast crunch maker machine? I don't know. And that's the question: is how could this have happened if it wasn't a BS story? So I don't have an answer to that. My my answer is I think that uh, Jensen Carp is uh, full of shit, and that's probably why he goes by the name Hot Carl. 